Rocket Raccoon is here with some fellow furry friends with today's game, Whack-A-Mole for your Game Boy Advance. So let's go ahead and take Whack-A-Mole. Let's pop it in my GameCube Game Boy player and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Whack-A-Mole was published by Activision and released in 2005. The back of the box states the following. It's a mole new game. It's Mole Mania and you're in charge of restoring order. The moles are everywhere and it's up to you to whack them back to the underground. Do you have the skills to whack them all? Mole Mania, huh? Way to name drop a cult classic for the original Game Boy. Whack-A-Mole is an action game for one player. Using a 3x3 grid, your goal is to use a D-pad to pick an area of the grid and press the button to hit whatever pops out of the hole. To aim at the center, you simply don't touch the D-pad. To hit a corner, you use the diagonals of the D-pad. You'll want to hit most moles for points. Basic moles are worth 25 points, gold are worth 100 points, and stone moles are also worth 100 points, but you need to hit them 10 times. Some moles, like ninja moles, will attack you if you don't hit them quick enough, taking away points. Other moles need to be avoided, like spiky moles, who will take away points if you hit it. Power-ups, both good and bad, can appear. Hitting them can do various things, including speeding up or slowing down time, or putting multipliers in effect that can temporarily multiply both points earned and lost. If you hit enough moles in a row, that can also increase the point values. The main game is separated into 11 areas, with each area comprised of several sections. Before each section, you will be given a goal. Usually the goal is to score a certain number of points before the time expires. However, sometimes you have to actually increase the timer by hitting good moles, who will add time to the timer while avoiding bad moles that will take away time from your timer. The game saves your progress after each section and you get unlimited continues. When you reach a new area, the game will often throw in a new mole and or power up. If you beat all 11 areas, you will get a very disappointing congratulations you won kind of statement on the screen and that's it. Whack-A-Mole also has two bonus games. Peg Puzzle is very similar to the game Lights Out. The goal is to clear the board of the moles as quickly as you can. When you hit a mole, he can make moles around him appear or disappear depending on where the arrows next to him point. Tic-Tac-Toe is kind of like what you'd expect except you use moles instead of X's and O's. And to place one, you have to hit it during your turn when it pops out before your timer runs out. You can also play a quick play version of standard mode which can double as a practice mode. The graphics in the game are okay and even slightly comical, but the sounds and music are pretty generic. Family friendly wise, the game received an E for everyone rating with a notation for comic mischief. Currently at PriceJarring.com, the game has a value of $3 loose, $6 complete, and $6 new. So what do I think of Whack-A-Mole? If this was a mini game within a larger game, this would have been fine. It looks okay and controls better than I expected, but it also felt repetitive. After a while, I simply got sick of playing it. The two mini games also didn't do much for me, with Tic-Tac-Toe being made more chaotic than it needed to be. Basically, this is a game that has a very shovelware feel to it, which is not what I'd expect from a big company like Activision. So while it offered a little bit of enjoyment, it wasn't enough to make me want to play it again. So where am I going to rank Whack-A-Mole? Well, it's going to have to wait until I review some more Game Boy Advance games. Whack-A-Mole would be fine as a mini game, but is lacking as a standalone title. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer, just like Mark A did to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, especially if you're a mole about to pop out of a hole.